What's going on guys? It is your boy Cash. What's going on guys? We are back and I did a Victor's tactical shroom video. You should definitely check it out. The video is absolutely hot. Uh, but I asked you guys in that video, what what actual meta deck would you guys want me to see? I got Gwen, Katarina, Gwen Bain, um, and Kindred Gnosis were the three options that I basically got. One guy asked me to make a poll, but I had to respond like, I, I don't know what the meta is. I don't actually do this right here. I'll mass in Runeterra and actually look and be like, uh, <laughs> what's the top tier deck? And then just craft it. Uh, luckily, mass in Runeterra, no, they're not sponsoring me, but it is pretty cool that mass in Runeterra, you can just like look at the deck. You can boop this and then push it to the game. I'll copy the URL, copy the deck code. So that's what we did here. On the bottom right, the little MR symbol. So they do have synergy. So I guess it's like official. And this is that deck. That deck had a 57, I think 58% win ratio. So if I can't win with this deck, it's, uh, yeah, pretty bad. Um, <laughs> means I'm pretty bad. Uh, let me just look at it and just make a, I guess, a guesstimation. So we got a 3-2-1 split, Gwen being the highest, Katarina being number two, and one off of Elise, I think just as a good two drop. We have the Boisterous Host, Region Guard, some early one curves, Quietus because it does a lot for a little, Ravenous Flock because it's busted, Glimpse Beyond because a lot of our little minions, we don't care if they die or not, Phantom Butler, really good, annoying because that's fearsome. Uh, we got some Vile Feast, Arachnoid Sentries, Noxian Feather, only one opulent Foyer. Interesting. I usually run more than one just so I could see it more often, but you only really want to play one, and I can see why you don't want to have two on the field at any times. It, it's a really delicate balance of, between making a deck where it's like, I want to only use one of the card, but I want to make sure that the odds of me drawing it is higher. So it's very weird. I, I, I know why it's a one drop, but it's a great, really great card. It helps out a lot, so... You're really hoping to see that. We got two Ruined Reckoners, three Fallen Reckoners, uh, two Eternal Dances, and two Harrowings. No um, big board wipes or anything like that, so they're just going with the Tempo of the Gods. Let's see if this deck is... I should technically win the, most of my games playing this, and maybe we'll just we'll just level up into... What am I? I'm in Plat, so I need to go into Diamond. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, I almost got caught. It's my, my meta deck up a little bit. Drop the Beat is absolutely garbage. Our, you know, this is this is like our channel emote right there. Drop the mic is like the best thing that's ever happened to this game. All right, we are starting off in Diamond 3. Oh, sorry, Plat 3, which, Plat 3, let's see where we end up. Whatever happens, happens. Let's go. Playing against Attack on Teemos, what a great name. I think we take the five. Well, if I'm gonna take an elusive, I might as well take this elusive, right? Oh, wait, I forgot to commit the Vile Feast. Everyone, please. Oh, I'm bad. I'm bad. You know it. I forgot that that thing has... Uh, I should have blocked with, like, actual Katarina. So, I did it in the wrong order, did everything wrong, and we still somehow come out somewhat ahead. You love to see it. Open attack here every day. Good luck with that. It must be done. Oh, it's good. Every moment of this has been a joy. Not for the opponent. Yeah, we got a Poro deck, ladies and gentlemen. Might as well. Let's see, has Poro snacks. He does. All right, at least we know in advance. It's just a nick. Uh, does he have enough elusive damage here? Any spell shields? No. He has five elusive damage. He has a lot of he well, not a lot, but he does have healing. I do have to be mindful of that. Coral stacks. I think we lose. Right. That's all I can do. I have no other uh, spell that can interact here. No Poro Snacks. Poro Snacks super wins. Uh, Mystic Shot wins as well. No going. I 
think that I attack with this. He can't kill it. I think I just ping the Nexus there. He can't kill it at the moment. I do get two attacks off. I lied. I forgot how it worked. Because <laughs> uh, Katarina, the Katarina that died is as now has four attacks, so it doesn't work anymore. Okay. This might be a mistake. Good job, Katarina. One card left in his hand. I ping off. This to make sure that it's dead. Gotta make sure it dies. He has the other pearl snacks. Another flock. Flock, all these flocks? Nothing. When I need quietus, this is when I need quietus. Well, early in the game, I needed quietus. I think it, I think I, we lost because of my mulligan. The the fact that I didn't mulligan. <laughs> Sharima. I think I still would rather run more of this and then maybe less of the can't block cards. Uh, those big uh, lower cards uh, can't block. Because they, they have like anti-synergy with uh, the Eternal Dancers as well. So I don't know. That's just me. But I also don't think I played the deck to where you're supposed to. I think I, I made piloting mistakes technically. Okay. See what I've learned? Okay, doesn't level. Gwen levels though. I'm gonna do this. Hopefully we draw into another Floki. And then uh, what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna develop Katarina afterwards. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. I don't know if you meant to do that. I will not squander the great gifts I've been given. Uh, he probably surrenders here, by Never the way. I would surrender. <laughs> it's a great card! That's GG, my friend. Unless he has Burial Sands. Heal up a bunch. Don't touch it. Too, too, too easy. <laughs> Honestly. Too easy. They'll never know what killed them. All right, we got Thresh, Zed, Hecarim. The tempo of this deck is just insane. It's a little poke on the face. Open attack lethal. He blows all his cards to stop it. We still have Noxian Fervor. We have Katarina next to, oh my God. <laughs> Just a stitch in time. Yeah, sure. Diego! I gotta do it every time. Um, open attack lethal. <laughs> what was that? Terrible play. You take the you take the pass there. What I'm learning here uh, specifically is just that the deck is optimized. Like like every card kind of synergizes with each other. And I think that a lot of the times when people play and when people create decks, I find that they don't actually do that. Right? They, like it's a lot of the times where like not every card synergizes. Like the most I would do is depending on meta, you have some meta picks, right? You have the quietest, which in this deck is gonna be useless. So I might have to use Quietus on the first thing that pops up almost, like, cause I really can't use it. There you go, perfect. Die. Yeah, there it is. It's my Nexus. Oh, do I Katarina? No, I don't think I Katarina here. We make everything stronger. And start pressuring him uh, for that, like, by a large amount. Quietus is now almost completely useless, in my opinion. 
uh, based on that. I bring music and war. Good. Yeah, have fun with that. I'm going to put it on the left in case he has something. Uh, I don't know if he's running freezes, but I do want the higher of the attack if he lowers this in some way. Gets in my way. This is every time I get the attack token, right? Yeah. I, and even, yeah, as soon as I was with Katarina, I really think that they should run more of these. Like, in the deck. I think that it synergizes really, really well with Katarina and the attack token and all that other good stuff. Um, I'm not going to use the blade. I should have used the blade. I would have been able to ping this off. I have to remember about combos like that. Now this is automatically bigger. Uh, okay. Hello, new best friend. All right, now it's getting getting kind of spicy. Um, dies to that. I gotta forget if I death lotus, everything dies. It's a lot of damage. I want this to die, obviously. One mana spell, what do you have? Uh, Brittle Steel? It's just a nick. Alright. Gonna block that. Forcing in the block with this, obviously. Or that, whatever he prefers. That's the block. Next turn. We'll have the thing come out. We're gonna put the ephemeral unit on the left to force him to block it. And then we still have two blockers. Now, what I'm hoping to do here is obviously I'm going to Katarina. He said Juani's it, but at least I get to nick her. <laughs> I get to tickle her fancy real quick. Said Juani? Irrelevant. So still five. Leave no survivors. Damn, I don't even have to. Uh... She just straight up trades with that. <laughs> oh boy. Though he could still come up with a win though. Uh, I think maybe Sejuani onto one of these low end uh, units here. This might hurt. I think the vulnerable, no, the vulnerable is just for the round. A part of me wants to kill Katarina actually right now. I'm gonna not do it, but I think the big brain play here would be to kill Katarina because I have another one in hand. Do anything though. Like All right, he goes for that play. Oh, but see, look, I actually win though, right? Wouldn't I still win that? Cause that would Katarina right now, and then I would win. Please, that was the correct play. That was the correct play. Now it's super the right play. Anytime he plays a card like that, I also win now. Mana card. I mean, that's my biggest defense also. So it makes the most sense in multiple different ways. And as soon as I drop Katarina, I win. Because I get the thing. So if he tries to respond and kill me with something, I just I'll respond with the Blade's Edge to the Nexus. Unless he has two warning shots? I fucked up. I had the right play and I didn't do it. Wow. Good shit. Now what's super funny about that is that as soon as he activated that thing's skill, I would have just, I would have had Kater my other Katarina out. I would have my other Katarina out and I would have fucking won. Because as soon as he did that skill, I would have been able to just to ping his Nexus. But he had double warning shot, which is hard for me to predict. To be fair, but interesting, very interesting. I think I have the harrowing now, uh, because she pulls. She doesn't have to pull anything at this point. But I was gonna say I put the three one, and then he has the two seven. That's seven damage. So we we harrowing now. 
No way to deny it. Damn it, man. I don't know why it prioritizes this 4-3 over the other one. The other card is a 4-3 as well. Yep, he went too wide. <laughs> also, I actually doesn't he doesn't need another unit. It doesn't matter. Uh, any sunlight thing that he does is gonna stun something else. Ravoon! And then he gets to do it again. Leona. Drop the mic on him. What are you snipping up my Nexus for? All right, I ended the video like hours ago, <laughs> and I just kept using the deck, dude. I'm already plat. <laughs> I'm already uh yeah plat one, and this this should make me uh this should make me diamond, dude. This deck is stupid. <laughs> this deck is stupid. It I've whooped so much ass. Just like I can't stop playing it because of how good it is. It's like it's so easy, and I just feel sorry for my opponents when they play shit like this. Like you have no shot. It's insane. Um, but it's just it. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? That's fine. He's just gonna be like, oh, he thought it was his turn. Dude, I, you saw the drag. You definitely saw the drag. Quietus. Oh! Say it ain't so. Give me that fucking thing. Give me. Immediately off the rip. Give me. Yes, Quietus used for the proper other thing. One mana destroy your plus three plus three gaining stats as you destroy things buff. Off the top of the deck. Boom. You have another one? He's tight. <laughs> he's tight. Uh, or he's just bluffing. Um I have to attack. To trade with everything here. Now I could have just uh glimpsed beyond this one in, in general, so that and everything is plus two. But we're just gonna attack in. He can take a favorable trade on the right side, but then he does kill these things. And uh, I do want to glimpse something. Uh, our hand is pretty pathetic in comparison to his. And his region combination, his hand is very is way stronger than mine. So, hey, I'll take the free diamond, bro. Give me diamond. He might actually be AFK. All right, well, we're gonna pass it back to him. We'll, we'll blow some mana here, which is fine. Oh, uh, this is not this is not the match I was looking forward to. Dude, I've played this before. The person does this multiple times. And then, um, then I end up losing. Harrowing, nice. Well, that's how you get diamond, bro. You just get a person, <laughs> when the gatekeeper's asleep at the wheel, I guess. When the gatekeeper is asleep at the wheel, you love to see it. Hey, you know what? It's all good in the hood. I take those. Um, I don't even know what I could do. You know, I could have technically developed and stuff, but we just passed like two turns. And I think we win here. Oh, he comes back. What is that? Really? Really, dude? My man had to go to the bathroom. That is definitely, I needed to go to the bathroom right there. Or was he baiting me? In order to do um, like a big play, this is 12 mana here. This is uh, War Mo uh, All Mother's War, whatever the fuck it's called. And he has the option to do that. He has, a, I guess he has a decent amount of options here. So I, I did. Would you ever bait? I, I think in a tournament I would do it, but in tournament I feel like you they would know that you're not there because they usually record it. But like, like maybe they would think that oh yeah, this is gonna keep going. I could have developed there, obviously. There it is. Feel the rush. There we go. So I think he baited into feel the rush. I 100% think he did that. Alien soul and orange. Hooray. We need a lot to happen here. Well, I mean, a lot not to happen. I need him not to obliterate uh, Gwen. We do get two uh, midnight raids here, and this could be it. He definitely got me with the feel the rush, but he definitely he needs to have gotten one of those. 
cards. Now, I could still run these in because if even though they'll kill Gwen, I'm pretty sure he has one of them. I feel like that's irrelevant. Oh, so he had this. So he couldn't do it before because of three power. So maybe I was correct to kind of stall. But he could have done that any any day of the week, though. He got me, man. Ah, I think I think that that was the main plan from the beginning, was to sit there and like waste a couple turns and then feel the rush me when I wasn't paying attention. Not when I wasn't paying attention, but oh, it's over. I thought he was gonna fuck up. Oh, that would have been so good. Yeah, I think he did that on purpose. He literally bullshitted and wasted time for like three turns just to feel the rush. Oh my god. Elusives. <laughs> what is all this? And it's actually like a bunch of her units on the field. Um, yeah, we're going in. You gonna block with your owls? Cause this deck, I actually seen this deck a couple times while I've been playing. I think it's absolutely trash. Like you're, I feel like most decks have answers to stuff and it's like this deck is too slow. You're just kind of hoping for to get an early hit and like do some stuff and maybe these will block for you. But it just seems like it's just not solid at all. No point in playing this cause he's not blocking. <laughs> it does have overwhelm though. Uh, I, I think that that's the cool thing about it. There we go. We broke him. That's it. As, as soon as you, as soon as you break them and force them to start blocking, you're fine. He loses everything he's trying to do. Um, okay, there we go. Pale Cascade. Got a Pale Cascade out of him. Two damage, and literally that's uh, Rune Reckoner. So he has to win this next turn, pretty much. You like to see it? Timo's level. Super Saiyan Timo. He taps himself out here, so I could just go straight with this. And uh, unless those shrooms can heal you, my man, uh, you, you kind of lose. GG. Cut it up. One stitch at a time will make something totally new. Every moment of this has been a joy. All right, we're back. Just need that one win. All right. That's all I'm looking for. All right, we have Lee Sin Akshan, a deck of filth. But that, uh, that Shurima kind of got me a little bit shook. We attack properly this time. All right, here we go. Weapon Master is here. Um, all the thing. Eh, that's fine. We can still block with this. Bank one mana for our Ravenous Flock. Because we do actually have Ravenous Flock here. What are you doing? What are you doing, Step Bro? Why would you attack here? Do you have a two mana? Uh, the momentous choice thing? Yeah, you're attacking like that? Okay, he does not. Now uh, we get some greatness here. 100% gonna drop uh, Katarina. Start that pressure. I do have a feeling that he might have um, something to deal with her though. No going back. Like a quicksand or something like that. His deck, all it has to do is keep their champions alive. So I'm pretty sure that that is what he is trying to do. I would love for him not even to play a champion, uh, not play a unit here. That'd be great. Hellstones. Yeah, three or less health. So he spends the kitchen sink on it. Come in, come in. I'll take a recall though. Plays another hook master. Sometimes you're the fish. Sometimes you're the bait. Gets tough. 
Um, I'd rather save the potential one damage for Ravenous Flock. Depends on what he plays here, we might go Gwen. Let's go Gwen. What is all this? The Midnight Rebel! And so we begin! Take everything! Uh, no reason to block this. I could block it, but there's just a billion reasons why. <laughs> With one mana, there's just too many reasons why I shouldn't. So, get that, we have two Hollow Deaths. I did think about, like, playing Katarina here so I can open attack with her. There it is. Might start cycling these. Another Gwen. Good to see. Play Katarina. Because he knows we have it in our hand. So, he can get that attack off. I can also kill her with Noxium Fervor. Whoa. So, he uses this. He just tried to level up, uh, what's my call it? Uh, I don't really need draw. My man using the weight of judgment. Lee Sin is still pretty far off, it seems. Uh, he does have this. Can't block with it, though. So we're going to get some free damage out. Which he definitely would have blocked, so I think that, that was we, get, we got more than three damage out by doing that play. Katarina is now dead, so if I do draw into the Reckoner, we could do something. But she didn't level. We have waited so long, Delani. And now peace is just moments away. First time, madam. I suppose it's We can use this to block. I should never tire of something so grand. I am ascended. Do this and then block it. And I'm almost certain that's GG. <laughs> He'd have to have a uh, burial to uh, stop this. Oh, his deck is broken. Open attack here, 100%. He needs a lot. What a joy. That's exactly lethal, which is kind of scammy. There goes the stun. But I, I like that he did the stun because it gives him, he loses a lot of tempo. So I'm 100% fine with that open attack. We force him to spend his mana on this stuff instead of other things. We drop out Katarina again. Ah, uh, you bastard. This might hurt. I almost want to glimpse her. I think I should have actually. Ragnoid Sentry here. We're not taking it. We're taking it back. Akshan is now leveled. I'm just trying to spread the board out a little bit. He's looking for Akshan or Lee Sin. He's looking to end the game, pretty much. Lee Sin is... I am the Simon Wind. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. There we go. Robin blind. That is what I am talking about. My HP is irrelevant here. Uh, he'd have to stop Gwen from attacking, and there we go, he does. Ka uh, Katarina gets to level up here then. Has to be blocked. Can I play? I mean, it's a big turn next turn. He has to do a lot. He knows that I think we'll have an eight mana up, right? So, yeah, I could I could slow play the hell out of this. We can literally open up with uh, Gwen. 
She didn't level, but she can easily level within two attacks, and he knows that. He only has three cards that I, I don't know about. Now he has another one. Shimon win. Hopefully he drew into something that will help him. I think even Lee Sin would be a really good draw for him. He'd tap himself out, but... Life is precious. It must be protected. Damn. You did... There we go. There it is. We made it, baby. Did you see that? I did that. Me. Me. Boom, baby. We diamond boys. And one girl. <laughs> we finally made it. I love this Seraphine art. She looks like a... Uh, she looks like she's having a good time. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for the video. We made it into Diamond. We made we used this completely fair and balanced deck, but it is different using a deck uh, one that not I didn't craft, and then two, it's just you know it, it, it works really good. It's, it's meant to work good because it was built to, it was built and it was refined and stuff like that. And I not that I think I honestly think that a lot of the decks that I have. Uh, could be refined uh, could be refined to that degree, but most people don't do that They go on that on these websites and they find what the best thing is and then they just use that <laughs> Especially when they actually are interested in climbing But this is actually my first time being in diamond and thanks to you guys is making me uh, play ranked and have more fun with the game And yeah, we look forward to more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace